What is up you guys? I know it's been a really hot second since I've done one of these, like a burning second. I don't know, I've just been feeling a little bit burnt out. I feel like I can't think of new ideas. I feel a lot of pressure sometimes when it comes to my content. I went to Montreal last week for two weeks and it was the best time of my life. Like It was really nice living a normal life again and going to the gym. And coming back here without the gym has just been really affecting me and I didn't realize how much the gym actually helps me and helps my mental state but I'm back and I didn't realize how therapeutic this was for me like just talking to the camera and like just talking about my feelings out loud because I live alone and you know I don't talk throughout the day like I'm just like mute so this is really really nice to do so today i decided to do a part two of what i wish i knew before i started my fitness journey so if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to drop a comment share it with a friend tap that like button as well and if you guys do have any ideas on what you would like to see more of please 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 drop a comment i love reading them and i will definitely take your suggestions into consideration and, and try to provide the best content that i can for you guys so let's get started so the first one is that you most definitely should not be comparing your fitness journey to someone else's there are people that you know lose fat a lot faster than others there are people that gain weight faster than others and it really just depends on who you are your body your genetics it literally just depends on so much if you are too worried and too focused on someone else's fitness journey you're going to neglect your own if you're too worried about how fucking jennifer lost 15 pounds in a month and you're worried that you're not doing it right you're not losing the weight as fast as jennifer you're never going to get to your goals i'm sorry but like you can't be worried about what other people are doing because everybody's body is different everybody's body's different everybody loses fat differently everybody gains fat differently everybody gains muscle differently it literally just depends on you and your body you need to stay focused on you. I always, always say that like, it's not about other people. It's about your journey and enjoying the process along the way. Stop comparing yourself to Jennifer. Stop comparing yourself to Kylie. That shit doesn't matter. Don't even compare your journey to mine. My journey was a fucking hell of a ride and it wasn't easy. And you comparing yours to mine isn't going to help you get to your goals. Get rid of any accounts that make you feel like shit. Like honestly, if my account makes you feel like shit about you, then follow, unfollow me. Do it for you, do it for your mental health. Get rid of the accounts that make you feel like shit, okay? It's not good for your mental state. You're going to constantly feel like you're not making progress because your progress may not be as fast as Jennifer's. That's not how it works. Focus on you, I swear to God, this is the first thing that you need to understand. Your fitness journey is your own and you comparing it to somebody else's isn't gonna get you anywhere. So the second one is the scale. Okay, I have a love-hate relationship with the scale. I knew that when I was first trying to lose the weight last summer, the scale was something that I was using, but looking back on it now, I kind of wish I just chucked it. I personally don't think the scale is a really good way to see your progress. I think the scale only tells you so much and it can be a really discouraging thing to look at the scale and see nothing happening. For example, you guys have to understand that let's say you're a beginner and you're just starting to exercise or you're just starting to lift weights, the changes are happening internal. They're happening in your body. When you first start exercising, your body is learning how to pump more blood into your heart. Your body is trying to provide more mitochondria into your body due to this new demand. Your muscles are growing, your muscles are starting to work. So it's really important to understand that the scale isn't gonna tell you anything that's happening. A lot of the times when you step on the scale, your weight goes like this, and that's because of water weight. Your water weight goes up, your water weight goes down. When you first start exercising as well, your muscles are inflamed, so maybe sometimes the scale is gonna be a little bit higher. Not an accurate way to see your progress, in my opinion. Like, it really, really isn't. There are a lot of changes that happen inside your body, internally, but the scale isn't going to show you that. I always, always urge my clients, for example, to take measurements, to see how their clothes fit differently. Even for me right now, like I don't really use a scale. I'll do it like maybe once every two weeks, maybe once a month. I honestly wouldn't mind even chucking it completely. The number on the scale can be so deceptive and it can be really discouraging. It can make you feel like you're not making progress, but honestly, if that's what it makes you feel, get rid of it. You don't need it. And that's something that a lot of trainers might not even agree with me on. 
a lot of trainers, you know, get their clients weighing themselves every single day, every morning. I just don't think that's mentally healthy whatsoever. I don't think it actually shows you much. If you're getting your workouts in and you're eating as healthy as you can and you don't see any changes to the scale, please stop stressing over it because the more stress it happens, the more you're going to feel discouraged and the likely you are going to give up and gas out. So if you feel like the scale is making you feel like shit, get rid of it get rid of it you don't need it do measurements see how your clothes fit differently all right you guys so the next one is for my ladies who are trying to build their glutes or tone their glutes make them more strong whatever it is it's for the glutes i am telling you the best exercise you can do for your glutes is the hip thrust i think it is as good as everyone says it is it is as effective as everybody says it is really isolates your glutes but it also really strengthens your core the hip thrust isn't just a glute exercise it's your entire core and your core is not just your abs it's your glutes it's your lower back it's a little bit of your upper thigh when you isolate your glutes especially when it comes to the hip thrust you're enhancing a lot of power you are increasing your strength overall it's really going to help with your hip drive and your mobility as well i honestly think the hip thrust is one of the best glute exercises that you can do i always suggest you know activating your glutes at the beginning and then getting right into the hip thrust the hip thrust should be one of the first exercises that you do on your leg day or your glute day or whatever it is but start off with the hip thrust first you know try and go as heavy as you can the last three reps should be a bit of a challenge for you a lot of exercises require a lot of hip drive such as cleans or snatches and and you need really strong hips to form those exercises the hip thrust not only strengthens your glutes but it also strengthens your hips and that's going to help you with those exercises it provides a lot of stability with your hips and your core and it's an exercise that i highly highly recommend if you're trying to you know tone up that booty grow that booty whatever it is it's an amazing exercise for your glutes the next one is a short workout is better than no workout and there were times in my journey there still are so many times in my journey where i just don't feel like exercising or i don't feel like moving and i just want to stay in bed and watch netflix but even if you do a 20 minute workout if you do a 15 minute workout if you go on a walk that is movement i know sometimes it's hard trust me like i really really get it especially now without the gyms it's really tough it's tough getting yourself up and doing the workout but sometimes sometimes i honestly do a 20 minute workout and i feel fantastic after and a lot of the times when you push yourself to exercise when you don't feel like exercising right in the middle of your workout you're, you're like you know what this isn't that bad like i could probably do more i'm telling you 80 percent of the time if you're in the middle of your workout and you still don't feel it you're still just not up for it leave it's fine fuck it's not a big deal but I'm telling you, the hardest part of working out is making yourself work out. Once you're in it, once you're doing it, you feel amazing. You feel really, really proud of yourself. I say this all the time, and this is probably in my last video, but you have to push past that mindset of, I can't do it, I don't feel like doing it. Try it. Even if you literally just wanna do like 100 squats and then call it a day, fine, do it. A little workout, a short workout, some sort of movement is better than no movement at all. So push past that mindset where you feel like you can't do it. Once you're in it, I'm telling you, you're probably going to want to even do it more. So push past it. You can do it. I know it's tough, but tell yourself that you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> so the next one is that you can enjoy your sweets. You can seriously enjoy those unhealthy foods and still lose weight or still gain muscle. You don't have to cut out sugar. The only issue is that when you're excessively eating them or you're constantly having sweets and throughout the day you're, you know, fueling yourself with processed foods, it only becomes a concern if you're consistently eating like shit all the time. Of course, the less processed foods you eat, the less sugar that you eat, the faster you're going to see your results. Like no shit, that should be obvious to all of us. They are unhealthy for you. Processed foods are not good for you. You guys know this already, but it doesn't mean you have to completely cut them out and you know go on this crazy strict diet. I don't think it's worth it. I think you should enjoy your life, enjoy what you wanna enjoy. But yeah, if you're eating them excessively, you're not gonna see results. Your body's not gonna feel good. You're not gonna feel good. 
I always find that when I eat an excessive amount of sugar, I honestly feel drained. I feel tired. Like I don't feel good. I think more people need to adjust to this healthy lifestyle to truly understand how it makes you feel because a lot of the times when people are eating crappy every day, they don't even really realize how it's making them feel mentally. There was a point in my life where I was eating like shit a lot, honestly, and I didn't even realize like how bad it was making me feel until now, until I'm realizing, wow, I'm eating a lot healthier. I feel more energized throughout the day. I feel good. I feel relaxed. Give healthy eating a go. It's not hard. It really, really isn't hard. You just need to focus on your protein, your carbs, and your fats. That's all you need to worry about, making sure you have a good amount of protein, a good amount of carbs too. Don't cut out your carbs. That shit pisses me off, man. Your body needs carbs to literally survive. I do not promote the keto diet. I do not promote like a super low carb diet at all. You should be incorporating carbs into your diet. They are incredibly important, especially if you're training consistently. Your body needs carbs for energy. Eat your carbs. If you want treats at night, freaking go for it, but you know, limit it. Have a little treat, enjoy the treat, call it a day. The next one is the importance of self-love. Now, this is a tough one and I know it's a lot easier said than done, but you really gotta love yourself. And as fucked up, as, as cocky as this might sound, I am very proud of myself and very proud of the accomplishments that I've made in my life. And I'm truly happy with who I am. Now, this is a weird thing because a lot of people a lot of people don't love themselves. A lot of people hate themselves and look at and look at themselves in the mirror and are disappointed in themselves. And it's like, why? Your life is so fucking short to hate yourself. Are you kidding me? Like, you need to love every ounce of yourself. You are you and you should be so proud of everything that you have accomplished in your life. Sometimes I come on here a little harsh and a little hard just to try and push you guys, but you need to be more positive with yourself and you need to look at yourself in the mirror and be proud of yourself. And I think a lot of the reasons why we aren't like that or some women aren't like that is because of social media. I truly believe social media has completely fucked us. I think it's made us hate ourselves and it makes us compare ourselves to other people and it's just mentally damaging. This is not going to help your fitness journey by hating yourself and being negative and you know, telling yourself that you're worthless or you can't do it or you're you're an idiot. Like that is not the attitude that you should have in your fitness journey at all. While I was working out timelessly to try and lose weight, I would find myself being negative about myself and not seeing the results that I wanted to see fast enough. And I was just upset with myself. And I looked at myself like, you're not getting it. You're not doing it right. You're you're not pushing yourself harder, but I neglected all the good things that I was doing. I know I try and push you guys to, you know, live a healthy lifestyle, but I only do it because it's good for you. And that's the way I believe everybody should live, to be completely honest with you. But at the end of the day, you are not your weight. There are so many things that make you unique and special and amazing and wonderful. And if you're living life to try and lose weight or gain muscle or look a certain type of way, it's not going to get you anywhere. You need to focus on the positive and all the good things that you've been doing and be grateful for this opportunity that you have in life. Like I know that's cliche and I know it's fucking cringy to say, but life is honestly too short to be worried constantly about how much you weigh. I'm telling you that right now. Social media has fucked us completely and it makes us feel like we have to look a certain way to be accepted and that is not the case. You have to love yourself for you. You have to be proud of yourself for everything that you've done. Even if you're like, I did a 40 minute walk to the grocery store today. Be proud of yourself for doing that. Honestly, honestly, be proud of yourself for doing that. The, the little things matter. Once you start pushing yourself and being proud of yourself and being happy with who you are, you're going to excel so much in your fitness journey. I promise you that. I used I used to be really hard on myself. I really really did and I would look I rem I would remember looking in the mirror and just being disappointed. And that is not the mindset that you should have. I'm telling you you're not going to see progress. You're not going to see results and you're not going to feel good when you're constantly comparing, when you're constantly putting yourself down. It's not going to get you anywhere. You have to practice self-love. You have to love yourself. You are you and you are unique and you are talented and 
you need to stop worrying about your weight constantly. It's not worth it. You're gonna be 80 years old one day and you're gonna be like, damn, when I was in my 20s or when I was a teenager, all I was worried about was how I looked. You're going to regret it. Go enjoy shit. Go enjoy your fucking life. But yes, of course, try and incorporate a healthy lifestyle as much as you possibly can. So you live longer, so you can, you know, enjoy life in a healthy way, so you can jump around, so you can do fun things, so you can travel in your future. This is what matters. You want to live a healthy lifestyle so that your future is fucking fun, it's healthy, you feel good. Don't do it because you want to look like someone else. I, I love promoting a healthy lifestyle. As a personal trainer, that's my job. And I truly believe you should live a healthy lifestyle in order to live a happy life. I truly, truly believe that. But if your main focus is looking a certain way and dropping weight or gaining muscle or getting the fattest ass and that's your only goal in life, you need to readjust. You need to love yourself. You need to love yourself. Go tell yourself all the things you love about yourself and I'm telling you, you're gonna feel better every single day. You're gonna feel more motivated to work on you for you. So I think I covered everything. This is just a reminder that I don't believe that anyone should look a certain type of way in order to be accepted. I'm just, I just promote a healthy lifestyle because I know the way it makes me feel. I know the way it's made my clients feel. I know there are so many things on social media that make us feel like shit. Trust me, like I have been there, but you need to get rid of that shit. You need to get rid of that toxicity. You also need to be super, super patient as well. These changes don't happen overnight. You're not gonna be a completely different person tomorrow after watching this video. It's all about baby steps. It's all about progress. Don't be so hard on yourself. Take it easy, baby steps. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just remember that you are unique, you are special, you have so much more going on for you than your weight. And um, looking a certain way should not be your main goal in life. It really, really shouldn't. And I learned that, I understood that. I there, were, there was a point in my life where that was my main focus and it's not healthy. Believe in yourself, be patient with the progress and I promise you, once you start to enjoy it, those results will come very shortly after. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please enjoy your day, enjoy the sun, do whatever you need to do to make you happy. Anyway, once again, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a comment, share it with a friend, and I will most definitely start posting these a lot more. I honestly feel really good after, after this. It felt like a little therapy session with myself. So I will definitely be posting these more. Enjoy your day, have an amazing, amazing, amazing week, weekend. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.